Beginning for the city of Lynn Haven as two new faces take their seats on the commission, but their tenure gets off on a serious note as the FBI investigates the former city manager and two companies contracted to do work for Lynn Haven. News 13's Katarina Lukatic was at tonight's meeting. Mayor Margo Anderson was sworn in for a second term. So were Brandon Aldridge and Pat Perno as new members of the city commission. They're stepping into their roles as the city is under investigation by the federal government. Even though right now our town is under a great deal of scrutiny, that the actions of one or a few do not define who this city is. Just last week, we learned the U.S. Attorney's Office ordered the city's records clerk to testify and to turn over any and all paperwork regarding two companies, erosion control specialists and Greenleaf Lawn Care. Records obtained by News 13 this afternoon showed the two companies were contracted to do work for the city following Hurricane Michael. Federal prosecutors are also investigating former city manager Mike White, ordering the city to turn over everything from his personnel file and contracts to his emails and texts. Now some commissioners and the mayor say they want to have more oversight of checks written on behalf of the city. You know, it doesn't hurt for you know, more eyes to look at everything. I have asked to review all checks before they're sent out. The way our accounting procedures have been set up in the city, there were no checks and balances as far as the mayor did not see the checks until they were already written. But in the meantime, the feds will be presenting what information they've collected to a grand jury. Reporting in Lynn Haven, Katarina Lukatic, News 13, Panhandle Strong. The St. Joe Company is expanding on Panama City Beach. They are adding a third office complex near the first two.